Hey guys, um, so today, as I said that I wanted to do something um, in the food revolution, and I didn't know what that was going to be, right? And it could be, like I said, it could have, it could have at that moment just be, I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> but I think I can take it a step further. I just don't know how much further, but I wanted to share what I learned today uh, regarding the food revolution. So, um, there is something in Los Angeles and all over the nation, actually even in all over the world, called meetup.com, and that's when you meet you people, hold meetings and gatherings and seminars uh, for topics that they want to share with others that have the same interests. And I had looked up, um, I think, veganism. And then, um, but for whatever reason, I couldn't find this, but I looked up under and suggestions for stuff to do on Saturday. And what came up was this um, community gardening, urban gardening, because that's what attracted me, urban gardening. And that excited me. And um, what was more exciting is that it was lots. That really excited me. Now, why does that excite me? Well, before I even got there, I just know that poor people have less access to healthy, organic foods. Now, why is that? Because it, people in Watts have space. It's not like downtown LA, there's space. People have yards, front yards and backyards in Watts and Compton, big yards and front yards, actually lots of space inside their houses because they're old neighborhoods. So they can grow them. Well, number one, they don't know how because we have been so far removed from that. That from our, our food that we don't even know where food comes from. Um, uh, the second reason why poor people have less access is they're tired. Okay, they work a lot of jobs and they work hard jobs without benefits and without breaks. Think people that work at Walmart, think Compton, and think Watts. All right. Um, so they already don't feel well. They have to go to work, and when they come home, they're just resting. They're all they're in because they're all they have all this nasty food inside their body. Their body is keeping them alert enough for survival. That means their jobs, right? And when they come home, they don't want to garden. They don't want to like me get online and figure out well, what can I do. In many ways, organic producing is a luxury. It's a lot like when I went to study theater in Russia and I tried to tell them about feminism and they had just become capitalist. Um, they said, they said feminism, that's expensive. And I didn't get it at that time, but I understand now. It's a luxury that they can't afford. And that's one of them, that they're tired. And the money they do have, they want to, they have a lot of mouths to feed. So whatever they do buy has to stretch, and that makes it harder. And it then becomes this vicious cycle. So we're for, they're, well, specifically um, poor people in urban areas are far removed from their food. They, um, they go to work for shit jobs. They don't pay a lot. They eat crap food because that's all they can afford, so it just continues. So they're basically eating crap food, go to work feeling like crap, come home, too tired to eat, to buy good food, uh, too tired and poor to buy good food, so they eat whatever, they eat cheap food, and then it just continues. And they don't have time to do all this research and, and you know, ponder, the, ponder and take on for the world's problems. So that's why. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't have a lot of money but I am a lot more fortunate than some. And so, um, and I have been very poor before. And I watched my mother um, um, go through these cycles that I'm talking about. So today, of course, when I saw urban um, planting and farming, community gardening, I was excited, very excited because I had already said that that's something I wanted to to further. I just didn't know to what extent, but I think I figured it out today. So I went to Watts when I showed up there. 
I just expected a lot of black people, like starting this movement, you know, and I was, I just love me some black people. I, I love them more than Latinos. They're just fun. Okay. I, the best hospital I ever worked, I worked at, or yeah, it was a hospital in Los Angeles because my patients were all black and I just had the time of my life there. Even when, when black people are sick, they're, they, they know how to have a good time and how to, I guess it comes from, uh, I don't want to say genetics, um, genetic memory. You know, they've had to over struggle, overcome so many struggles that it's already in their, in their way of life to just laugh at life and really have a good time. But they turned out not to be all white. <laughs> uh, it turns out the person, the main person who's running this, um, they have this urban gardening in Venice. And, we're, and it was very, they, at, till this day, as of today, they have 52 beds. And I didn't know what that meant, right? Basically, it's um, a gardening area that's lifted up off the ground. 52 successful beds in Venice uh, Beach, California, Los Angeles. And because she noticed that there was a divide between the have and the have nots, she decided to take her permaculture background, uh, farming background, along with like seven other people, uh, farming background, and bring it to Watts. So I felt like I was being schooled uh, by people that really know what to do. And that was exciting. Um, I had had a really good time. I ended up working three hours in the sun, <laughs> physical labor. <laughs> now, I don't mind physical labor, but what's the point of me continuing from this point forward? Well, I realized then, because remember I had said that I don't know what I'm going to do with the food revolution, but I know that I want to be a part of it. I don't think that I'm going to go much farther than participating in urban gardening communities. And I don't think it's going to go much farther than creating what I call, um, or what's called, vertical gardens where you, people that don't have a lot of space, like in big cities, like I live in a big city. And um, although people in Watts have a lot of space, people in Venice don't. Um, people in Long Beach don't unless you live in the houses. I would love to, uh, I'm more interested in how to garden urban life for small spaces. That's where my interest lies. But actually starting in a community urban gardening groups and meetups and getting people together, it just, that part doesn't excite me. But why am I saying that, right? I'm saying that because even though that doesn't seem like a lot, urban gardening, my own stuff in my house, it's more than a lot of people do. And it is the future. And that's what this video is about is, um, the dietitians are the doctors of tomorrow and western doctors as we see them today they're, the fact that they don't know about food and they don't use food to help make you healthier they're on their way out farmers are the future of tomorrow farming and I, and I want to end this video with this the guy who actually ran the meetup because the lady that came from Venice uh, she's the main person running the, uh, the program, but one of her people is the one who, his name is Christian, he created the um, the meetup, and this is his passion. You can tell there's a big difference between him and me. He just gets so excited when he talks about it. He said that it is expected that we're only going to get 35 more years out of our soil, the way we run things, before the, how we grow food is done if we don't make changes now. And that really um, resonated with me. And it should resonate with you. It's very important. And if you can just, this is all you can do is urban garden, vertical gardens in your own home and help out communities, that's not a bad way to go. All right? And I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at, I'm listening to three things. Right now, I'm looking at that. I just made a video for my mom. My nephew's got his hair being dyed, and this video, is, um, the screen is going black. So, anyways, today was a good day. 
I'm glad that uh, people like this lady are, are taking their knowledge, their expertise, and sharing them with Watts and with me. Um, because I all, I, by, by learning today, I get to share with you guys what's going on. And I also got to find out that that's not what I want to do, but what I can do and what you can do. And that's exciting. Okay? So you don't have to own a big guard, a big uh, farm. You can just vertical garden. Okay? Um, you can join people that are already starting the food revolution. Join them and be part of that. And be surrounded with like-minded people. Remember, we don't have that many much time, 35 years.